Back, a new study using more than 100 years of ocean salt water has shown that with El Nino years, the water off the coast of Southern California is slightly less salty. Meteorologist Brendan Minchef has the reason why. Take a look. What we did in this paper was using the salinity record collected at the Scripps Pier in La Jolla, California. And so somebody with a lot of foresight in 1916 started collecting this data and, and really um, stuck to their ways with doing these daily measurements. But these daily measurements are vital because they allowed the researchers to examine how the salt in the ocean changes over the years. And of interest to this particular study, during La Nina and El Nino years. Looking at La Jolla that doesn't have a strong freshwater input, like a river that's releasing freshwater every day on this large scale, we see that there is a strong freshwater signal, which means um, at, after a rain event, the stream flow is really increased. It's kind of this entire watershed draining all the water down to one outflow point into the coastal ocean. More fresh water would point to more rain, which would point to an El Nino. And while this study focused on a specific area of Southern California, other research has shown similar results of reduced salinity in the San Francisco Bay during El Nino events due to increased rainfall runoff and snowmelt flowing out of the Delta. Southern California was continuously a very strong correlation, but it was still um, still a sizable correlation for a lot of the Southwest US, which is really pointing to when we see this really fresh winter on this three month average scale, it's, it's sizable events that aren't just hitting a small niche area of Southern California. It's really pointing towards larger systems that are impacting more of the entirety of the Southwest US.